Today we are making blue copper acetate solution. It's pretty cool and it's easy to make with household items. The first what you're going to need is distilled white vinegar. Easy to get. And hydrogen peroxide. You're going to need 30 milliliters or two tablespoons. It's the same thing. And you're going to need for the hydrogen peroxide 15 milliliters or one tablespoon. And what also what you're going to need are clean pennies. Just a few of them, four or five, doesn't matter. Now what you're going to do is going to take the vinegar pour it in, make sure you get all of it in, and the hydrogen peroxide. And then, what you're going to do now is microwave. microwave it until it boils, which would be about 40 seconds. We've boiled it in the microwave, and now we're going to drop how many? How many pennies? Two? Three? Five? All right. Uh, it's hot. Be careful. Okay. The copper from the pennies should start to turn it blue. There should be a re reaction of the the copper on the pennies being bubbly. You see that? It it gets all frothy and you there becomes a gas and it's it starts turning blue it should take about five minutes maybe four minutes not very long it's hot very hot don't touch it the, p the pennies start to turn black they're covered with copper oxide. <laughs> the reaction has stopped, and here we see pennies that have. Well, let me get one out there. The, p the the pennies have turned black. It's coated with copper oxide. So the pennies also become a little dull if it doesn't become black. With this copper acetate solution, you can do cool things, like let it evaporate and make crystals copper acetate crystals as you can see in this thing which I've done before also if you take a piece of iron or steel or a metal and put it inside and let it sit for five hours it'll be copper plated and it'll be pretty cool With this, with just like this experiment, you can make other ones, like instead of using a penny, you could use a nickel to make a lighter blue acetate, and if you use iron, it'll make a red acetate. Rusty iron would actually be better to make a r red acetate. We're just going to let this piece of iron sit in here, and you can see a reaction on it. That's how you know you've got a, a good piece of iron. There's a... It forms bubbles around the whole piece of iron. On this penny, you can see... Green things. I don't know why that's there. But it just, <laughs> it just came on it. Yeah.